Say, oh, babe, what is this video for? What did I just cook? Welcome back to my channel. This is On It On Everything, the place where you can find a little bit of everything. So today we are returning to the kitchen with one of my favorite recipes. I mean, they're all my favorites. If they weren't my favorites, I wouldn't be sharing them with you guys. But this one is a new one, new to you, old to me. It is my recipe for fresh homemade salmon croquettes. Yes, this one's been done a ton of times. I'm sure if you like this, you've either made it and done it your own way. But today I'm making it my way and I'm putting a spin on it. And the first thing we are doing away with is the canned salmon. I mean, no shade to anybody who like to use canned salmon because that's what I grew up on. I mean, that's what granny and my aunties, that's what they did. But once I got a little bit older and I wanted to switch some stuff around, I left that can alone and it just went up to another level. So I want you to just enjoy this recipe and please guys, I don't want you to ever miss anything that I have to share. So do me a favor, make sure you like this video. You like it, it stays there, you always have it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You subscribe, you don't miss a thing and do not forget to turn on notifications so you know when something new is up. So please enjoy this recipe. We are gonna just jump right on into it. Thank you. <laughs> this but before we do i just want to talk a little bit about the ingredients that i've chosen today as you continue to watch recipes of mine sometimes you might look and say wow that's a lot that seems to be a little bit extra but for me it's all about the goal and achieving the taste of the dish that i want so i'm totally fine if people choose to do things and cut corners but i have tried this recipe in multiple ways and i have come to love exactly what i'm showing you today uh, adding a little bit of time and adding a little bit of love will result in really, really good flavor and delicious salmon croquettes. So the first thing that we have here is some fresh Atlantic salmon. This is two pounds of salmon. Everything that I do in this recipe is catering to um, the fact that I have two pounds of salmon. I have some scrambled egg here. I have some spices here, some breadcrumbs, some fresh parsley, and the star of my dish, onions. Let me tell you, I love onions. I literally think that I put onions in everything that I cook. Of course, everything is savory. Um, I have some raw onions that I'm gonna use that has scallions and a little bit of chopped white onion. And then the white onion here, I'm gonna saute and soften. The reason for that is this layers of flavor. When you use raw onion and you cook straight from raw in a dish, you're gonna get a different flavor than if you have onions that have already been sauteed. They become a little bit milder, a little sweet, they're more tender. So I want that different layer of texture where when you bite into the salmon croquette, you get some crunch from the panko, you're gonna get a little bit of bite from the onion that is raw, and then the texture from the soft onion will be there, but it's mild and it's smooth. So we're gonna dive right in. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just pre-bake this salmon for 10 minutes on 375. You do not need to do more than that. The salmon for these salmon croquettes, like I said, is fresh. And the point of using fresh salmon versus canned salmon is so that the, that the croquettes result in very, very moist cakes. So all you have to do is just um, stick this in the oven, you bake it for 10 minutes, all you're doing is allowing it to cook enough to pull the salmon away from the skin and allowing it to flake up a little bit. You go beyond that, you run a risk of them drying out once you make your patties and you recook them. So I'm gonna just transfer the salmon to a, a cookie sheet that I have here. And it's just lined with parchment paper. I don't have to do anything to this. If I was trying to cook this to reserve the skin, I might oil this pan. But all I'm gonna do is just take the salmon, I'm gonna just lie each piece here on my pan. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Now you have the salmon here. I don't need to do any seasoning to it because all of my seasoning is there in the bowl. 
Now, what I will do is I will drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here. And I do this just so that we don't run any risk at all of compromising the moisture of the croquettes. I just spread that on there, just like that. And believe it or not, this is it for the prep of your salmon. I'll tell you as far as prep time, it takes a little bit of time to chop up all of these ingredients. Like I said, I chopped up white onion, I chopped up green onion, and I chopped up parsley. Other than that, you just cracking and scrambling some eggs, pulling some panko out of the pantry, and then these are your spices. I will list in the in the description uh, how much I use for the seasoning, and we'll go from there. So this is going into the oven. We'll come back once the salmon is all baked and form our patties and move on to the next step. Okay, guys, so we are back. I am all done with the salmon pre-baking, and I'm ready to make my patties because, frankly, I'm hungry. So, like, I make these videos so you guys can learn these recipes, but my family still have to eat, and I am hungry. So, I just want to tell you that, like I said, the salmon cooked for 10 minutes. It came up to a beautiful color. As you can see, it will be considered somewhat like on the rare side, but who cares? We're going to pull it off of the skin. It's going to go in a bowl with all my ingredients, and we're going to make the patties, fry them up, and be done. So, all you have to do is take the salmon. As you can see, it flakes right from the skin, okay? This is the part where I don't necessarily feel like I have to show you this, but just if you need full direction, you just pull it and you just take it and peel it from the skin, throw it right into the bowl, okay? And you're gonna repeat that with each piece, okay? You can get rid of the skin. We don't need that for anything at all. Like I said, it just flakes off. So you almost can kind of just peel it right from the skin, okay? Got a little tear there, that's okay. This is real cooking. And when it's real, it's not perfect, and that's okay. All right, so my salmon is in. So I can get rid of that. Let me give my hands a quick rinse. And let's season these patties up and get them going. So, now I have a new clean cookie sheet with um, parchment paper on it. And this is so that I can make my patties and I can um, set them here while I'm waiting for them to go into the pan. I have my oil preheating. And another thing that I did while uh, my salmon was in the oven cooking that I didn't show on film is that I I um, pre-cooked those onions. Remember we had some raw onions and then we had um, we had some raw onions and then we had some that we were gonna use to pre-cook. So that's how those came out. Uh, we just sweated them a little bit with maybe a tablespoon of oil. That was one fourth of a white onion. So right now, got the salmon in there, it's beautiful. And all you do is just throw everything in there, okay? So here's my parsley. I'm not gonna use all of this parsley because I just like to be fancy and dress it with some at the end. So I'm gonna put about three fourths of it in the bowl. And I'm gonna put all of my scallion and my white onion in there. Okay. I've got my cooked onion. That's going to go right in there. We're just going to move some of these out of the way. Here's my breadcrumbs. My, I'm going to put my spices next. So, like I said, I'll list the spices uh, below in the description, but we have garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, a little bit of Old Bay, a small amount of Tony, um, I think it's Cachero Creole seasoning. And then this is a, a just a multi-purpose 
a mixed seasoning sauce. So some people use Lowry, some people use McCormick's. I um, opt and I use the seasoning called Mike's seasoning. So I'm gonna just add all that in there, okay? And we want all that garlic to go right in there. Okay, so here we are with the start of something beautiful, okay? I'm gonna mix this up a little bit before I add the egg. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, so let's just mix this all together. This looks so good. And it's so much prettier and fresher than using canned salmon. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, if canned salmon is your juice and that's what you love, I mean, you can stick with it. But I promise you, if you make these with fresh salmon, you will not ever, ever go back to using canned salmon. I um, recently did this recipe. I filmed it, didn't love how it filmed, and I just wanted to do it over again. But in the meantime, a few people tried the recipes and the recipe and I've gotten nothing but good reviews. So just looking at this right here, remember that everything that's in this bowl right now is already cooked. If you just wanted to be a savage and dig in, you could. There is nothing that's uncooked to the point where it's gonna make you ill there. So it's perfectly fine at this time to cheat. And what do I mean by cheating? You stop, you take a little bit of taste of the mixture. Taste it and make sure it's got enough flavor in it. Do you feel like it's got enough salt in it? Do you wanna add a little bit more garlic? Before you add the egg in, you can still modify and do whatever you wanna do to it. So I'm okay with what I did because I have been making these for long enough to know that my recipe and my mixture of spices is spot on. So I'm just gonna quickly rinse off my hands. I'm gonna add in that egg. We're gonna make some pretty patties. Pause, go over to the stove to fry them, and then we're done. So here's my egg and eggs going in. Now, once this egg goes in, you are committed. You can flavor it if you want to, but you will not know if you have decided to over season it or if you have under seasoned it. Now, salmon croquettes is one of the one of those things where, yeah, you can sprinkle salt on top of all of your dishes if you want to, to flavor them at the end if you feel like you didn't season them enough. But salt don't really mix in to um, the salmon patty uh, versus it just sitting on top. So you're not gonna get like that good mixture. So. Got everything in there now. And one thing you'll notice about these is they're not filled with tons and tons of breading. I like the salmon to do the work, okay? If you like more breading in them and you all about that, feel free, add more. But this is exactly how I like mine. And um, this is how I choose to do it. And as a reminder, this is just my version of things, okay? So now I'm just gonna make some patties, lay them out here go over to the oven and get them going look at how beautiful that is i mean like nothing comes from a can and looks this beautiful right and mm, i don't think that i have a science about what size patty i will say that whatever size i choose i try to make sure that all of them in the batch are the same so here's my first one we're gonna lay these and go from here. Okay, so I'm so excited. They are all done. The patties are formed. I'm ready to take these over to my grease and fry them up so we can eat. Tell me that these do not look delicious. My husband says that they look like some good Maryland crab cakes, so Let's take them over to the stove and get them in some hot grease and going. Y'all hear that grease popping? Okay, so we're back and my grease has been preheated. Let me set, um, tell you this much. You can use, I guess, whatever oil you like to use. I've been on this peanut oil kick. I love the color that it gives things that I fry. It come up so crisp and so golden. So we're just gonna continue to roll with peanut oil. It's been heating at a medium heat. I've got my 
croquettes ready to go. So now let's get them in here. So last time I did this, the first one fell apart and I'm okay with that because as long as it tastes good, that's what's important to me. It don't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna pick up my first one. All right, guys, moment of truth. Can't drop this in here. It'll fall apart definitely. And you don't want grease to splash upon, up on you. So I just kind of try to lay it right in there. Okay. That one fell apart a little bit, but I'm okay with that. So we're just going to get these all in here. And come back in a second. Okay, so... I have six of them going so far. I have a few more to cook after this batch, but I just wanted to talk for a little bit because when I got these in the grease, uh, one of them fell apart a little bit and I was thinking, my husband asked me, would you do anything differently to your recipe? And I said, no, my recipe is perfect. It's just, you know, the method of the way I dropped them in. So one thing that I, you could do if you wanted to was after you form the patties, if you uh, want to, you can put them in the freezer for maybe 20 minutes or so just to get them a little more solid and then you won't have to worry about them falling apart when you put them in the skillet but i'm not changing my formula it's good it tastes delicious and it works so um i flipped the first two if you get right in there you can see how beautiful the color are on those and that's what you want i feel like historically salmon croquettes turned into these like really really dark like hockey pucks and I don't like that so I like everything to be aesthetically pleasing so I'm just gonna turn them until I get the beautiful color that I want while those cook I'll show you that um I did make uh some sides to go with them I made some grits and I made some rice my um seven-year-old son loves grits so he'll have his with some grits and rice for everyone else so um we'll turn the others, they take about three or four minutes on each side, keeping the heat at medium. Um, that can probably get a little bit darker, but honestly, all you're doing is cooking the egg. Remember, everything else was cooked. And remember, you don't want to overcook and dry out the salmon. So as long as that egg hits that heat, we are good to go. And you can enjoy these. So there's my one that fell apart, and I'm okay with that. Because guess what? If falling apart, don't make it taste no different. All right, so we'll let these cook. I'll come back and show you at the end. I'm all done and plated. Okay, so we're all done. The salmon croquettes look beautiful. I'm just going to go ahead and plate them. And like I said, I used some grits. So I'm just going to take two of these and just... Nestle them right into my grits. And remember I told you guys that I had that leftover parsley? Well, this is what I like to do with them. And that is it. All done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Any questions, put in the comments below. And please like and subscribe this video. Thank you.